welcome back to my channel so you probably clicked on this video because you want to see how i go from zero to a hundred and i know i look pretty crazy right now but that's okay i'm gonna show you how i go from zero to a hundred and you're gonna look like a baddie and all that so i'm not gonna spend too much time talking about the products i kind of want to have like a chit chat type of video with you guys so i'm just gonna go ahead and start with my eyebrows because i feel like when i do my eyebrows first it kind of like sets like the whole hey you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna go ahead and start off with my eyebrows and i guess i'm using the benefit um, brow, pe brow pencil and i'm just gonna like lightly fill my eyebrows in and guys excuse my eyebrows i haven't gotten them done because um i'm waiting for them to like grow out I'm waiting for them to grow out so I could go and um, wax them. That's why they're looking a little cray cray, you know what I'm saying? The best feeling in the world is when you freaking go do your eyebrows and like they look so freaking good. The last time I got my eyebrows done, the lady didn't do a good job and I felt like they were like really uneven. That's kind of why like I'm letting them grow so I could actually go... Um, wax them look at this little thing right here you see that aid i was playing with aiden and he freaking scratched me so now i have like that little um red mark on my face i'm gonna go ahead and finish up finish up my eyebrows clean them up with concealer and then we're gonna move on to foundation to clean my eyebrows i'm using this elf um hd lifting concealer and i just kind of use this to um clean my eyebrows because i really don't like the coverage like under my eyes and stuff it doesn't cover anything it's just for but for my eyebrows is kind of good so i'm just gonna go ahead and clean them up i don't even know why um i bought this concealer because honestly like i'm not even the biggest fan of it it like honestly kind of sucks but you know i was testing it out and see if i like it but i really did not like it for my eyebrows like it actually cleans them but when i apply it right here like you could still see like my dark circles and lately i haven't been able to sleep because aiden like his eczema has been freaking out of control like as you guys know from the last video i showed you i took him to the doctors um and she prescribed him like this medicine that's kind of helping but he's just been waking up a lot that's kind of like what i have like dark under my eyes because literally like he wakes up a lot and he wakes up like this like freaking itching but anyways before i apply foundation i just spray this mario badesco spray all over my face it just makes me feel like i'm ready to start putting on foundation to look good you know what i'm saying but yeah i'm gonna be using this infallible pro matte and i'm just gonna use like a lot of it and i'm kind of running out so you guys can see that it's pretty good so we're just gonna you know apply it everywhere in my face and don't be scared to put too much because you're seriously trying to go from zero to 100 so i'm pretty sure you will want to get like um full coverage you know so with the beauty blender i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna dab not you know drag it around my face because i don't like how my makeup looks when i drag it so i'm just gonna dab it all over my face like the makeup really like goes in there you know what i'm saying i'm not the biggest fan of primer like i don't use a lot of primer on my face like i don't know why i just don't especially like my face is kind of dry so i don't know i just don't feel the need of primer at least for me i just don't really care for it for concealer i'm gonna be using the h rewind and the shade neutralizer and i'm just gonna like go crazy on this concealer because your girl needs it right now you know what i'm saying like i need to put this concealer on i usually don't care if i put a lot because obviously i'm gonna blend it out you know so i'm just gonna go i'm gonna go crazy with it 
right here and right there this makeup look is gonna take like 10 minutes so you're gonna go from zero to 100 in 10 minutes like i'm not even joking around and it's gonna obviously take me longer because i'm talking to you guys i put concealer and like i just feel alive like like i just was born you know like i feel good okay and don't worry if it's too, if you look too pale or too white you can always bronze your face up to look good i always just like to put um a little bit more like right here um to you know brighten up brighten up this area a little bit more i'm gonna grab this shade and light palette and i'm gonna use this shade right here and i'm gonna use that as like a setting powder because they like brightens under my eyes and then for contour i'm gonna grab the same palette and i'm gonna use the shade right here because i'm obviously out of this one so we're just gonna go ahead and brown our face up i've been wanting to get um laser hair removal like i freaking hate shaving my armpits my legs i freaking hate having to shave all the damn time like oh, i wish hair was just gone i hate freaking hair hmm. and like what i like to do to like get that like you know snatched look i just kind of like pull this up like this and like contour like that you see so you can get that like you know same thing on the other side i just kind of like pull this back and have you guys ever gotten um a laser hair removal let me know in the comments down below i really really um want to get that done like i freaking hate especially my armpits like i freaking hate having to always shave my armpits like, it freaking sucks it's my legs too now that it's freaking summertime i hate having to um shave my legs but yeah and then probably gonna put more i want to be brown bronzy today and don't be scared if it gets like too much because you can obviously like with a beauty blender i would go back to this shade right here and i'm gonna do this like I match it with my little piercing right here. I just go like that and clean that. You see like, just clean it right there. And then do the same thing on the other side. And you guys are gonna probably think like, oh my God, she's doing this so fast. It literally like takes me like freaking 10 minutes to do this. Like you don't have to spend a whole bunch of hours just to look plastic, you know? So I'm gonna use the rose water again and like okay for highlight i'm gonna use this laura geller highlighter and i'm just gonna go go crazy baby go crazy and then i'm gonna do it right here and on the tip of my nose okay that was probably too much and then right here i don't know if it's just me but i hate looking at my lips like with foundation on them so i'm just gonna grab this oh my god you guys want to see something crazy look at this kylie lip pencil like the whole thing comes out every single time like it's so freaking stupid i'm just gonna add some color i just hate looking at them like that because they look ugly guys have been showing me so much freaking love lately to my channel like you guys leave me sweet sweet comments you guys dm me like i don't even know where to begin to like say thank you to you guys like it really means a lot to me that you guys are enjoying my content like i just want to put out videos that you guys want to see and it truly makes me so happy that you guys are enjoying my videos like it really really like motivates me to like wake up every day and get videos done for you guys that just <clears throat> makes me so freaking happy like i promise you like 
I don't even know how many times I said like in that sentence but I really mean it like thank you so much for being subscribed and having your post notifications turned on and all that good stuff so I'm just gonna apply like a neutral color all over my lid and then a darker darker color on my outer lid my outer crease to like add dimension and like you know make it look good make it pop you know what I'm saying and if you're trying to do this in under 10 minutes, you obviously can't be doing no crazy colors and none of that. So this, it's like, this literally always works. If you want to add a little bit of glitter, you can. So I'm going to grab this shade right here. Tell me that ain't cute, sis. Tell me that ain't cute. I'm not going to do no eyeliner today because I want to just do the whole lashes look. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. My favorite at the moment are in the style Riri for, from Harlow's Dream House. And if you are interested, um, I have a 10% off coupon with them and I'll have it linked down below in the description box so you guys could go and purchase a pair because they're so freaking bomb. Like, I love wearing these. So after the lashes are on, I'm going to make the look a little bit more fun and I'm just going to grab this um, palette and I'm going to grab like this little blue color right here and I'm just going to like pop it right under my eyelid for like that little pop of color. You no, know, because it looks so cute. Like so and I'm going to go ahead and darken it up a little bit so you guys can see it more we're gonna go ahead and add inner corner highlight and i usually just like to like lick the little tip of it probably gonna go with this color and like add it right here tell me that doesn't look freaking bomb the brighter the better because it's summer and who cares you know it's freaking pretty now we're gonna fix our lipstick and we're gonna go back with the Kylie lip pencil and like really outline our lips to make them look bigger. And this one is in the shade Dolce K. So that is the makeup look. We're gonna do our hair and I'm just gonna strain it. I blow dried it because I took a shower. So I'm just gonna strain my hair real quick and then I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna actually do a little bit on camera and then I'm gonna change my outfit and then I'm gonna show you guys uh, what it looks like once I'm done spray this cheese spray all over my hair to protect it from heat of course and then I like to spray right here on the front too and I'll probably fast forward this part because I'm sure you guys know how to strain your hair so when I get to the top, I don't like section it off too much because I want it to look a little bit with volume, not so flat. brush broke that's great that is great now I have to hold it okay so I kind of wanted to show you guys my outfit um, standing up so I have this cute little crop top I think I got it at forever 21 and then I also got these high-waisted shorts from a forever 21 and that's what they look like in the back and then my hair it's super straight and it looks like that. I don't know. I'm like really digging this look. I feel like it looks super, super pretty. And now I'm going to take some pictures. So I'm probably going to like, you know, pose. But I thought my outfit was super cute for pictures. And probably like if I go out in public, I'll probably change my shirt and still wear a black crop top. But obviously it's a little longer but for pictures this one is just like so cute but yeah i'm gonna show you guys 
um, my final makeup look which looks like this i hope you guys really like it because i think it came out super freaking pretty and literally like if you hurry you can do it in 10 to 15 minutes because I can do it, so you can do it too. Guys, that is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this quick transformation. I really like the results. I think they came out super pretty. But yeah, if you liked it, don't forget to share with all your friends. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and comment down below what you guys think. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for showing me so much love in my videos. And until next time, guys, bye.